So now that this piece of styrofoam is taped and bent, it's ready to be installed. I just want to go over a couple things for you. Uh, this particular uh, contractor likes to use uh, a double track, one for the liner and one for the winter cover. So you can see here it uses the double track, but then we'll switch over to a single track for his winter cover. He'll actually put that on the stairs. So then you can use our same uh, clips to lock it into the track. Um, but for today's demonstration, I'm going to show you, we have uh, these other clips that are used for fiberglass poles, but you can also use these for around the stairs. Um, and also, if you set these stairs up a quarter inch higher, to um, so that when you put this single track on, it's in line with this top track. So now I'm going to be putting the piece of foam on. I did a couple pre-cuts here just for these bump outs, so everything is nice and straight. So I'm taking that piece of foam that's sticking out, and I just wedge it into the track. Very simple. And I'll take our reusable clips. There's a line on the back of the styrofoam so you know where to put the clip in. It's lined up with this track here. Just push it in, and lock it in place. Give it a little tug just to make sure it's, it's on secure. Nice thing with our system, you'll see that these clips are nice and high so it gives a lot of support. Especially on a rectangle pool, you'll see it keeps everything nice and straight. And we recommend on a freeform pool, you could probably get away with maybe every 8 to 10 inches or 12 inches apart. But on a rectangle pool, I'd go maybe 6 to 8 inches apart, just for that extra support. So now when you're coming around the stairs, you're going to want to take these other clips, once you've got your height set, and you're going to push the clip through, first from the inside, just to mark where it's going to go. And then once you do that, you take it out and you push it from the back. So you're going to want to do that once you have everything lined up. You're going to do that from the inside and from the outside. This piece, I already pre-marked it. So I know where it's going to be. self-tapping screws. You can pick these up at any hardware store. There's the three-quarter inch or one inch. And what you're going to want to do now is you want to put some pressure on the foam as well as the clip. You want to make sure the clip is nice and tight. tabs sticking out and where you've screwed them down you've created the weak point so now once these clips are in you want to take those clips out there's this tool you can buy online or we sell this tool as well and basically the way it works is you take your vice grips take the screw out of the back of the vice grips and then you, you insert this tool here screw it into into the back Here. I'll show you. So you see it's 
snap right off. Like I said, you created the weak point where the screw is. This just clamps on there and snaps right off. So again, nothing will be exposed because your concrete is going to be out past the screw. So nothing's exposed. You won't see any, any wires or any clips. 